Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it looks like, God, another hour, another confirmation that all of those leaks were true regarding the rise of Skywalker. Yep. Remember how for months, for months, everybody was like, no, they're lying. They're it's fake. impossible. It's impossible. Don't I have to do that every video. Don't believe YouTubers. Don't believe Doomcock. Don't believe Reddit. All of these things are lies. Mm -hmm. And they're not lies. They're actually- well, Allegedly, they're not lies. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're not, because I'm going to tell you something here. We're going to talk about how Burger King allegedly, allegedly- That's what I'm saying, allegedly. Because Allegedly. I like how, how they put this here. Allegedly- That's, That's how you cover your butt. Spoils the ending of Star Wars, the rise of Skywalker. We'll talk about some of these plot points that are- Now, they could have pulled them off the internet. Uh, you know, like the fans mm -hmm. came up with these theories. They could pull them off the internet or, you know, but Disney, would Disney actually supply them with spoilers because they're doing, so. they're doing a, a thing with McDonald's. I don't think so. I don't think so. It could be because they're salty because they went to McDonald's. I don't know. <laughs> it could be. They could be salty. So you don't even know if this is true. We don't know if it's true, but it's, it's, this one is true. This uh, particular link, and I have to give a shout out uh, to Lily Serena Patton. Thank you so much. You tweeted this to me earlier today um this this uh, i don't is this from the Fortnite thing what is this from no, the Fortnite clip? thing's not to the 16th i don't think okay this is a clip of kylo ren meeting palpatine uh, did you notice like every day there's a new dang clip yeah they're really trying to get people there um okay this this particular scene was leaked like three or four months ago people thought this was going to be part of the original teaser trailer mm -hmm. Uh, for the rise of skywalker and then it didn't happen and then the internet was like oh my god all the leaks were fake you guys got trolled by lucasfilm this is all fake 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 news no this scene is uh here it is they were just saving it for this teaser this is uh kylo ren going to meet palpatine in his his tomb and uh, like to a t they described it where he would go into like an inverted pyramid and he would go down an elevator into what looked like a Sith catacomb yeah. on whatever planet Palpatine's hanging out on. This was described in detail four months ago. And uh, because it did not appear in the trailer, mm. everybody on the internet was like, see, the leaks are fake. The leaks are fake. The leaks are fake. Well, here it is. Yeah. And here I guess it every is. other day, it seems like there's a new teaser. Is there going to be any of the movie left to do by the time they get to it, first of all? Secondly, I don't even know if Disney even cares anymore what's leaked because it seems like they're 180 on everything at this point. They're not even trying to really stop the leaks that much at this point. Yeah, I think they're, I think at this point, I, I mean, look, you look at what J.J. Abrams has been saying. You look at what John, John Boyega is saying. You look at, uh, you know, how they're positioning, you know, Baby Yoda to be the savior of Star Wars. And I'm kind of wondering if if Disney is just like, yeah, we're just going to take our lumps on. We know this one's not going to do as well as we band -aid off and just be done with it. Just be done with the sequel trilogy and move on to other things. They're already thinking what happens next. They're already like, let's plan, you know, the next trilogy and let's, you know, get rid of those nasty fans. Uh, we didn't want those fans. We're going to get rid of them. Yeah, but you're going to want the fans when you want to sell stuff and when you want, because now Baby Yoda is big with all the fans. And, you know, you didn't get rid of the fans for that. Um, which, ironically enough, I want to point out real quick that Hasbro has now done Baby Yoda toys. Yeah, Hasbro's doing Baby Yoda toys now, too. So That's Mattel cool. and Hasbro, and you can pre-order those if you go to thepiratesandprincesses.net. I have links to all those that you can pre-order, including a talking Baby Yoda toy. Interesting. It's actually kind of cute, but weird. Anyway, yeah. continue. He doesn't have much to say now. He just makes noises. Yeah, yeah. Like the, well, video's, the video's up on the thing. He is 50, so maybe at some point in The Mandalorian, he'll give a, a speech or something. And <laughs> Stand up and say something. He'll stand up and say something, and he'll be like a silent Bob from Clerks. He'll just give this big, long speech. And uh, yeah, so I don't know. But uh, Baby Yoda, yeah, Baby Yoda stuff, man. They dropped the ball on that. So this is Burger King allegedly spoiling the ending of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, coming from Bounding in the Comics. This is a German Burger King ad. And it's interesting because they basically printed spoilers on the straws, on the boxes, on the wrappers. It may be true because they wouldn't go that far. So they said the ad posted to the Star Wars leak subreddit shows Star Wars fans faced with a dilemma. They have to choose between eating a Burger King meal and receiving spoilers for the film or not eating Burger King and it's, not it's getting a, spoilers. It has to be a joke. Most fans appear to choose the spoilers. In fact, the typical Burger King meals are replaced with the spoilers. Okay, this has to be a joke. Spoilers, spoilers. So this is a German, a German ad, right? Uh, the ad's available on Burger King's Facebook page. Here are the spoilers. They have a safe version too. 
a safe version, just in case the leaks are real. We but, don't care. Spoiler version. Spoiler version. Okay. Press release for the ad campaign was released. You can find it here. Every product name on the menu board, every name tag, straw, chips, and even uh, the, the password, the Wi-Fi password contains spoilers. The product packaging was also provided with hidden spoilers. Some were even recited when opening a sound chip. What? I don't know. Uh, so, what well, they do, like, they, they, someone opening a sound, so what, they open a box and it plays a sound or something? I don't know, it's just weird. Uh, last night of the press release reads, whether the spoilers actually apply, the film release will show it. I can't believe they're real. Yeah, it's unclear if they took these spoilers from previous leaks or if it's sanctioned by Disney. Disney is, is doing a promotion with McDonald's right now. Because you got a cheap-ass Sith Trooper toy. I did. Uh, toy. I bought the Happy Meal toy. I bought the Happy Meal to get the toy. She bought the Happy Meal hoping she would get Leia or Chewie. And I you love, got yeah, Sith Trooper. I, got a, I only got a Sith Trooper. At least it wasn't Ray. At least it wasn't Ray. <laughs> so, um, as for the actual spoilers, the, the whooper is called The Young Villain Turns to the Bright Side After Being Defeated by the Young Sword Lady Whopper. <laughs> you mean the young villain turns to the bright side after being... So, obviously... Oh, you mean the Kylo Ren turns to the light side after being defeated by Ray Whopper? Yeah, another spoiler reads, the death of the young sword lady's parents was ordered by old hoodie villain. <laughs> I think I think old hoodie villain is supposed to be Palpatine. I, I, I'm assuming. I think it's Palpatine. The sword lady, I guess, is Ray. So Ray is a sword lady, right? I love these translations. It continues, the, lo the young sword lady is the grandchild of the old hoodie villain. Well, we did we did know that. Um, I'd like the young sword lady as the grandchild of the old hoodie villain menu. Okay. Goes on to confirm rumors about General Huck saying the blonde general is killed for freeing prisoners. That again was another spoiler. Another leak reads, the young villain dies. We've heard that. Mm -hmm. So far, they're all ones we've heard, but it doesn't mean that they're actual real ones. But it's That's funny. true. Or they could have just it's pulled It's just them. hilarious to watch this. This is, something yeah. worth, this is worth it just for this. I'm going to put a link in the description. You can go check this commercial out. I'm not going to run it. Don't want to be demonetized. Now, this one makes me... This one... I, this one can I read this one? Uh, the hairy, <laughs> roaring creature is accidentally killed by the young sword lady, but actually survives. Onion rings. The hairy, roaring creature. So does that mean that Ray accidentally kills Chewie? But he somehow survives. But she magically brings Chewie back to life via the magic powers. Or of, onion rings. Or the onion rings. She feeds him onion rings. And I mean, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God. The ad concludes by encouraging individuals to open the Burger King app to read more Star Wars spoilers. Are they... I don't think. The, I don't know. These kind of. It's not like this one on the Internet found the ones who we're talking about. Yeah, one user posted spoilers from the app indicating that Ray calls herself Ray Skywalker. This is the one we've heard time and time and time again, which is going to be massively divisive. Mm -hmm. This is going to, I mean, you, you thought The Last Jedi was something. This is really going to split the fans. They also posted a number of screenshots from inside the app. Uh, what do you make of them? Yeah, I think this is going to take off all the fans for different reasons. Yeah, I think this is Burger King trolling McDonald's. Because, like, I mean, I don't know how it's working... I like spoiler soft drink. I don't know how it works overseas, if the deal is the same over there or what, but here in the States, uh, McDonald's is doing the Rise well, of Skywalker would, I mean, come on. Let's be honest. If they did it for real, people are going to get jacked, and they're going to be mad at Burger King. So if it's real spoilers, it's just going to make people mad at Burger King. Would they be that dumb? But they're allowed to choose, I think, right? They don't just assault them with spoilers. <laughs> they can, so, if they, if they, you, you eat and get spoilers, or you don't eat and get no spoilers. I mean, that's not really really good idea for... Uh, you know how to sell your food. Just don't eat our food if you don't want spoilers. But I don't think people care at this point either, so. Yeah, I don't think people care either. I think a lot of people don't care. Um, now, I did hear that uh, some fans are lining up already for the premiere. Are and, you uh, serious? Yeah, like it's- But if you have people, tickets, why are you have to line up already? Because it's like a it's, tradition that everybody camps like, out for Star Wars. Like, when, okay, when we were used to go do that, you didn't get tickets ahead. They didn't have the pre-order tickets. You had to go and wait in line to get your tickets. Now you already have your tickets, so there's absolutely no reason. Well, this is at the Chinese theater. This is, oh, I, maybe. yeah. Okay. So I can understand that, I guess, this tradition. This is like one last hurrah. Okay, but it's like a week. Don't they have jobs? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was serious. Don't I was just thinking about some of these people on Twitter, and you're saying, don't they have jobs? And I was well, like, they're on, well, they're on Twitter an awful lot, They can too. write their articles from the line. They can. They can <laughs> They can tweet angrily. They can tweet angrily. I wasn't talking about... Oh, never mind. 
Well, you know, they can probably write their articles from the line. Yeah, it's kind of hard to write an article with thumbs, though, isn't it? Yeah, but you know. Bring your laptop. You know. Uh, steal the Starbucks Wi-Fi. You know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I know don't some know. that will. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, there you go, guys. There you go. Burger King in Germany, if you want to be spoiled, maybe, possibly. But uh, I think that's true. I think all of this is true. Uh, this 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 really seems to cement it for me. I mean, every freaking teaser they drop shows more and more of the leaked plot. We had Darth Vader's magic dagger. We had Red Eye C-3PO. Yep. And now we've got the Kylo Palpatine scene that was supposed to be in the, the, the last trailer, and it wasn't. And this is delicious because... Not because it's Burger King, but because everybody was like, oh, look, the insiders are liars. They don't know what they're talking about. I know, about. and I think people did see the trailer. They just saw the, the, the teaser spots, and then yeah. they thought it was a trailer. So yeah. it just, yeah, and, and it's like they're not even trying to hide it now. It is like every other day there's another teaser, and then they're going to put a teaser out with this connection, and a teaser out for that connection, a teaser out in Fortnite, and a teaser out in this, and a teaser out in that. Fortnite. It's like, is there going to be any damn movie left to show by the time you give away all these teasers? Because you're so desperate to get people to come to the movie, because... You know, you aren't selling tickets like you thought you should or yeah, would. I know. So then they're throwing shade at the Last Jedi now too. Just be that'll like that'll get them to come. Yeah, that'll get them to come. It's garbage. It's trash. Come you're see right. This you're one. right. Come see this one because it's better. This is what you wanted. Come see it. Honest, yeah. I swear. My fingers aren't crossed behind my back. It's all good. Oh God, Burger King, you, you bastard. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I, I, I think I think somebody's gonna see the movie be between now and next week, and they're gonna just they're gonna spill all and say yes, this is one hundred percent the movie. I'm waiting for that. That was leaked. Do you have pictures of people waiting in line? There were somebody did a video on it. Oh, I want to see pictures of people waiting in line. I'm all right, look we'll go out and look. We'll go out and look for that. But uh, I am not waiting in line. The most I waited in line for was the Phantom Menace. I took it. I actually did take a day off of work. What? That you have a job? No, I had a job. I took a day <laughs> off of work. Yeah, but this is like a week out. You're, we're not no, but I took a day off of work to go wait in line for tickets because that was back before Fandango, right? So I had to wait in line for tickets, and I waited and I got my tickets, and then the day of, I took another day off of work because I got my tickets in like. I want to say, was it uh, March? I think they went on sale in like March or something. I forget. But it was a couple months before the movie came out. Got the tickets. Then I, I took another day off of work to get in line that morning. And I got front row seats. I was in the freaking front. Why would you want to be in the front? Because I, just to say Why? I was. Why would you sit in the front? Because I did. I, I could look up you're, you're bragging about front row seats. That's not the one place you don't want to sit. I guess, guess, guess what, guys? I got front row seats. I couldn't see anything. I could see. I could see up Ian McGregor. Ian, Ian McGregor. McGregor. <laughs> Ian McGregor's nostrils. Yay. I could see up his nostrils. Yay! That's what I wanted. So do. I saw about a quarter of the movie from my vantage point. Uh, I did have to swivel my head quite a bit, but where I was sitting, I saw the ET Easter egg. Before anybody was even talking about it, because I was sitting right there where the ETs. I don't know were. why would you think that thing in the front's a good thing? You because can't I see the whole screen. I wanted to be able to say, "Look, guys, I got front row tickets." But that to Star doesn't Wars. work when it comes to a movie theater. You I was want... a teenager. <laughs> I was like, well, you know, you weren't because you were oh, working a like... job and you were you're older than me. Because when 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 the Phantom Menace. How old was I? Wait. Oh no, I was in my twenties. When Never the mind. Phantom Menace came out, I didn't see it for a little bit. I, I didn't go right away to that one because I was student teaching, so. I was, how old was I? I was I'm older early than you. 20s, early I'm, 20s. I am a year older than, well, 11 months older than you. I was a dumb kid. I was so in my early 20s. I did go, uh, that was cool. When, I, when they did the, the re releases of the original trilogy with the, the special editions, I uh, actually did wait in line for that. We couldn't buy pre order tickets either. So I actually waited. I was first one in line, or first within the first couple people in line every time. And it was me and my one friend and, and all these guys. And I was I got seats, and I did not go to the front row. I went to the middle of the theater so I could see everything and had a good seat. I didn't sit up front because I didn't really want to look up like Jabba's butthole or anything like that. I don't know if Jabba has a butthole. Somebody out there has an answer to that. I'm sure. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. This got really weird. So just just pointing it out, guys. Uh, there is more proof that the leaks are are legit. It's legit, um, and I think we're gonna we're gonna be talking about Ray Skywalker in another week and uh, what that means for Star Wars going forward and how pissed off, how colossally pissed off people are gonna be because at that point the sequel trilogy becomes all about uh, Luke and Anakin and everybody stepping aside and letting Ray come in and well, if everybody take can just take what if, if everybody can just take whatever they want, there's gonna be a lot of people that just change their name to Skywalker. That's right. Because they can. I'm just gonna change it to Geeky Skywalker. Geeky Skywalker. Yeah, my initials will say the same. 
GS. So um, Geeky, Geeky, Skywalker. Geeky Skywalker, because I think I deserve it. I have earned it. I have done nothing, but I've earned it. Um, I picked up a lightsaber once. I'm a Skywalker. I am because I, I believe it in my in my bones, and everybody can be whoever they want to be. So I I choose to be that. Um, I also choose that my character is uh, much stronger than uh, than Ray. I am the Mary Sue of Mary Sues. So there you have it. You're the sueiest. I'm, I'm the sueiest. I am the best. I don't even have to train. I just have to look at it and blink, and that's all it takes. And everything gets done the way I want to do it. All right. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> You'd be like Genie from I Dream of Genie. If I just wiggle my nose for a second and then blink, and then I got everything I wanted. Emperor's dead. All the all the, all the evil uh, uh, all the evil Sith are dead, including the ones that were dead already. They they were brought back to life and killed again. Well, that's basically what's going to happen. I in this know. Movie. I, yes. I brought them back again just so I could kill them all again. And anyone who potentially might become Sith in the future, I, I wipe them out too at the same time. It's like Minority Report. Just they wiggle my nose. <laughs> Free crime. So I am the sueiest of sues. All right. Anyway, we're gonna wrap this up. <laughs> okay. So. See you guys. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.